Before the discussion of alkyl halides in more detail, let me introduce you first to chirality. Any sp3 carbon with four different substituents is a chirality center. Chirality centers may cause a molecule to be chiral. Chiral is an ancient Greek word for hand. Note that a chirality center is also a stereogenic center, meaning that an interchange between two bonded atoms or groups can transform a molecule into another stereoisomer, much like the cis and trans isomers of alkenes. And because of the four different substituents in this atom, we can have a chiral molecule. A chiral molecule is not superposable to its mirror image. An example of a chiral molecule is this one. 2-bromobutane. 2-bromobutane can be represented by this drawing, wherein the bromine is positioned on this side. And this structure can be equivalent to this line form. The central carbon has four different substituents, a bromine, a methyl, a hydrogen, and an ethyl group. Because of these groups, the molecule has a non-superposable mirror image. And thus, these two molecules are considered chiral. Chiral molecules are optically active. They rotate plane polarized light, measured as specific rotations. Plane polarized light are light that propagates in only one plane. Light passing through chiral molecules will be rotated in a certain way. And this rotation can be measured in a polarimeter, usually at 25 degrees Celsius and the D-line of sodium. The rotation can be either dextro-rotatory, meaning clockwise, or plus, such as this one, or levorotatory, a counterclockwise rotation, or minus, such as this one. These are purely physical properties of these molecules and may not be correlated with their structures. A one-to-one -one combination of a chiral molecule and its mirror image will produce an optically inactive mixture called a racemic mixture and symbolized by a plus or minus sign. With a certain number of chirality centers found in a molecule, a maximum of two raised to n configurational stereoisomers are possible. Taking for example this stereoisomer of 2-bromobutane, it is common to project this molecule in this way. This arrangement is used to make a Fischer projection, named after Emil Fischer who introduced this concept. Thus, the horizontal line represents band to atoms oriented close to the viewer and vertical lines representing bond to atoms oriented far away from the viewer. By this Fischer projection, you can easily make a mirror image. And this compound and its mirror image are called enantiomers. Enantiomers are molecules that are mirror images. As another example, take this compound. This compound has two chirality centers, this carbon and this carbon. By Fischer projection, this compound can be drawn in this way. The line structure of this compound is this one. The transformation from a line structure to a Fischer projection and vice versa requires some skill and practice and it is recommended that you try this process in as many times as possible. For example, this chirality center. 
If we consider this chlorine close to the viewer, we can rotate this molecule 90 degrees counterclockwise and you will obtain this arrangement with chlorine being on top and close to the viewer. Fluorine, on the other hand, needs to be rotated in such a way that it will be oriented far away from the viewer. Starting from this stereoisomer, we can generate three more structures, of which the CL and the F are oriented in different positions. If we put a mirror plane in between these two molecules, you will notice that they are mirror images and thus are enantiomers. Similarly, these two molecules also are mirror images and so are enantiomers. What about these two? Since they are not mirror images, they are diastereomers. This compound and this compound are also diastereomers. The same way for this compound and this compound. The stereomers are stereoisomers that are not mirror images. They have similar but not identical chemical properties. They also have different physical properties. For example, their boiling points are not expected to be the same. Let's try this compound, tartaric acid. Tartaric acid has two chirality centers. Four Fischer projections of tartaric acid are given here. Again, we can put a mirror plane in between these two structures. Hence, they are enantiomers. These two structures are not mirror images. They are the asteriomers. But what about these two structures? They certainly look like mirror images. But if you rotate this molecule 180 degrees, this molecule will be produced. Hence, these two structures are identical. And so for tartaric acid, we only have three stereoisomers. What can we say about this molecule? This molecule is a mesocompound. Mesomers have chirality centers but are not chiral. A molecule is not chiral if it has a symmetry plane. If you draw a line of symmetry in the middle of this compound, you can see that the upper image is a mirror of the lower image. Thus, this compound is not chiral. You will encounter many compounds that are mesomers. For example, this 1,2-cis dimethyl cyclopentane is a mesomer because it has a symmetry plane that bisects the molecule into two mirror images. To name compounds with chirality centers, we use the Can in Gold Prelog convention. This convention is used to assign groups of decreasing priority on each chiral carbon to define its configuration. You already encountered Can in Gold Prelog convention in identifying the E or Z stereoisomers of alkenes. Again, Atoms with higher atomic number are given higher priority. In the case of this compound, bromine has the highest atomic number, and so we give it the highest priority. If priority cannot be assigned based on directly attached atoms, the next layer of atoms is examined. Here we have two carbons attached to the chirality center. Since these two atoms are identical, we need to examine the next layer of atoms. Here, the next atom is carbon, 
while on the other side, you only have hydrogens. Thus, the next priority is given for ethyl group, followed by the methyl group. The last priority is given to hydrogen. When there is a double or triple bond, the bonded atom is considered duplicated or triplicated in a similar way as the number of bonds found in the group. Next, you need to visualize the molecule such that the group of lowest priority is directed away. In this case here is hydrogen. The three other groups are projected toward the observer. Starting from the group of highest priority, here BR, imagine a rotation going from the highest towards the lowest. And if this rotation is clockwise, we designate this chirality center as R. If the eye moves counterclockwise, the chirality center is designated as S. Hence, this molecule, represented by this structure, can be named as R2-bromobutane. Its mirror image is S2-bromobutane. If there are more than one chirality centers in your molecule, then the position of the chirality center and its designated configuration must be mentioned in the name. For example, here we need to examine each of these chirality centers for their configuration. Starting from this carbon, we can take a look at its line structure. Cl is the highest priority followed by this group here and then this group here. If we move from highest towards lowest priority, the rotation is clockwise. And so this must be R. What about this chirality center? Thorine is at the back. And if we take this as the highest priority atom, followed by this carbon, followed by this carbon, our rotation is also clockwise. However, because F is at the back, and we need to rotate this molecule to put the lowest priority atom at the back of the molecule, the clockwise rotation will be reversed such that this chirality center will be designated as S. And so, since we have this carbon at position 3 and this carbon at position 4, the name of this compound will be 3S4R. 4 chloro, 3 fluoro, 1 pentene. Molecules do not need to have chirality centers to be considered chiral as long as they lack a symmetry plane. Alines can be such type of molecules. They contain two consecutive double bonds. They are cumulative dienes. Take this molecule, for example. This can be represented by this model. This compound does not have a symmetry plane and so can be considered chiral. This compound can also be designated using the R and S naming convention. But how do we do this? Here, you need to use Newman projection. If you rotate this model in such a way that the front carbon completely covers the back carbon, you can have this arrangement. The highest priority atom in front is here. First, you need to move from this chlorine going to this hydrogen, and then move to the next high priority atom connected to the back carbon, this chlorine. Such rotation 
is clockwise. Hence, we can name this as R 13 dichloropropa 12 diene. This molecule has a mirror image S13 dichloropropa 12 diene. We also have atropisomers. These are stable conformational isomers arising from restricted rotation about a single bond. As you remember, you can interchange conformational isomers by simple rotation. But some compounds cannot rotate easily if their groups are very large. For example, this type of molecule called BINAC. If you put very large substituents to these rings, then rotation around this single bond will be restricted. And so, we can have two mirror images. This compound is S binac. The S designation can be obtained using the same method in designating alines. Its mirror image is R binac. 